What's up guys, Jeff here, and we are back at it with another Reef Tank video for you. And in this one, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 anemones. But before we jump into that, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell so you can be notified every time that we upload a new video. Let's go. Coming in at number 10 on our top 10 NEMS is the True Carpet Anemone. This guy is expert only not the most colorful anemone that's going to be on this list and that's why it's coming in at number 10 this guy is considered expert only level care temperament aggressive most of the anemones on this list are going to be considered aggressive coloration for this guy is tan uh, it is a carnivore is reef safe with caution so you need to be sure that you are careful with your invertebrate selection because uh, things can get trapped inside the anemone and be eaten. That's a very important thing to consider with anemones. They are a living creature and they will feed. As far as lighting requirements, they do prefer high lighting or strong lighting. Water flow, strong as well. Placement for carpet anemones is typically the bottom and requires a minimum tank size of 50 gallons. Check it out. The true carpet anemone expert only. Coming in at number nine on our top 10 anemones for your reef tank is the Condi anemone. Now, as far as price point goes for these guys, they are really reasonable. You can find them for typically from 12 to 15, sometimes $20, depending on what name they're going by. Uh, but most of them, pretty decent price. Care level, moderate. Uh, as far as temperament, semi-aggressive, uh, probably don't even really need to mention that at this point. They are reef safe with caution. They have been known to soak up a fellow invert or fish every once in a while. So that's something to be aware of. As far as water conditions go with these guys and most anemones, standard saltwater parameters is probably going to work out just fine. Uh, max size on these guys, they don't get very big. They're six inches across. Definitely nothing like the carpet anemone that we just talked about. Lighting high, water flow medium for this guy. They don't really like to be blasted. And in most cases with anemones, they're going to move to that sweet spot, find the perfect area for them uh, to get the right amount of flow, right amount of lighting. So that's something to be in consideration when you are placing your anemone. Is he's going to go where he wants to go. Minimum tank size, 20 gallons. Check them out, the Condi anemone. Coming in at number eight on our top 10 anemones for your reef tank is the Ritteri anemone. This guy comes in at $119, a little bit higher of a price tag than we've seen so far on the list. Uh, they are considered a expert level anemone. So biggest thing with these guys is well-established reef tank and also the ability to maintain parameters and have that consistency throughout its stay within the reef tank as far as temperament it is considered aggressive reef safe with caution because it is known to uh, snack on some inverts and fish every now and again but as far as water parameters go consistency is the name of the game doesn't need any special elevated calcium or alkalinity just normal water parameters as far as the size of this guy he can grow upwards of 10 inches requires strong lighting and strong water flow Coming in at number seven on our top 10 anemones for your reef tank is the Rose Bubble Tip Anemone. As far as the price point goes, a little bit elevated with the Rose Bubble Tip. Definitely a interesting and fun anemone to add to any reef tank. Probably one of the more popular ones out there as well. As far as care level, they are considered moderate care level, semi-aggressive, are reef safe with caution, can grow upwards of one foot. That is huge. That gets pretty big. Even though that more often you're going to see smaller ones floating around as far as at your local fish store or even at trade shows, uh, definitely can grow very, very large. Even though that this guy grows large and definitely is a gorgeous addition to a reef tank, uh, they only require moderate lighting. So that is something uh, that is a little bit different than some of the anemones that we've already looked at on this list. Also, medium flow. Uh, and like with most anemones, they're going to just go and look for that perfect flow in the tank anyways. And while we're on the subject, it's very important to make sure that your reef tank is set up for anemones if you're going to keep them. Because they do move around, you want to make sure that you don't have any exposed openings that the anemone could climb into. Let's say a powerhead 
and get chopped up, that's going to be a bad deal. Uh, so make sure that your tank is protected. Take certain precautions to make sure that that guy's going to live a long, happy life. An absolute beautiful addition to a reef tank. Check him out, the Rose Bubble Tip Anemone. Coming in at number six on our top ten anemones for your reef tank is the Long Tentacle Anemone. Price point of this guy, not bad, $74. It's not going to break the bank, but it's a little rough on the wallet. A little rough. As far as care level for this guy, it is a moderate care level anemone, semi-aggressive, reef safe with caution. Those water parameters need to be in check and stable. Nothing special required for these guys. Max size, they can grow upwards of a foot and a half. That's pretty beefy for an anemone. And lighting, moderate, water flow, moderate, minimum tank size, 30 gallons. If you're going to keep this in a species-specific setup, if you're going to keep it in a mixed reef, I'd go a little bit larger, maybe something in the 75-plus gallons. Check it out, the long tentacle anemone. Coming in at number five on our top ten is the watermelon bubble tip anemone. Hey, it's easy to get green in your reef tank. Why would I want a green anemone? Because it has the name watermelon, and it's an anemone. I can only imagine that this guy is absolutely stunning when it's not all, like, bulbed out, when it has the long tentacle thing going on with those purple tips. That must be absolutely stunning to look at. It probably doesn't even look real. This guy is moderate care level, semi-aggressive, reef safe with caution, and can grow upwards of one foot. Lighting is moderate to high in strength, and water flow is medium. Minimum tank size is 30 gallons. Check them out. The Watermelon Bubble Tips Anemone. Coming in at number four on our top ten anemones for your reef tank is the Flower Rock Anemone. These guys are absolutely stunning in a very similar growth pattern as to a mushroom, and that's important because they are in the same family. They are moderate care level, aggressive in their temperament, are reef safe with caution, don't need any special water requirements, can grow upwards of 8 inches, which in most cases when you see these guys, they're very small, or at least when you're purchasing them or see them at the local fish store or at the trade shows, usually pretty small, but they can get pretty large. Uh, lighting is moderate in strength, water flow medium, absolutely gorgeous, and when you put these guys under actinic lighting, they light up. Beautiful, beautiful anemone. Check them out. The Flower Rock Anemone. Coming in at number three, an anemone that doesn't get its fair share of recognition, the Tube Anemone. They are absolutely stunning. Moderate care level, semi-aggressive, are reef safe, 100% reef safe. So those people that are leaving comments down below, anemones aren't safe for your reef tank. Hey, this one is and highly underrated. Water conditions, normal, max size, 8 inches, lighting low. Check that out. Water flow, medium in strength, minimum tank size for this guy, 20 gallons. Absolute beautiful addition to a reef tank. They have all sorts of different colors. They don't even look real, folks. Check them out. The Tube Anemone. Coming in at number 2 on our top 10 is the Haddon's Carpet Anemone. These guys are absolutely stunning. As far as care level, they are considered difficult, aggressive in temperament, reef safe with caution, require high lighting and medium flow, and are one that you want to place towards the bottom. Check it out. The Haddon's Carpet Anemone coming in at number two. And coming in at the number one spot on our top 10 reef tank anemones is the Colorado Sunburst Anemone. This is a absolute showstopper of an anemone. As far as care level for this guy, they are considered moderate care level, semi-aggressive. They require moderate lighting, moderate flow, and require a target feeding like most anemones do once a week. An absolute beautiful addition to any anemone enthusiasts out there they are absolutely breathtaking but also come with a breathtaking price tag these guys typically range from anywhere from 15 to a thousand dollars for a three inch anemone that's pretty hurtful check them out coming in at the number one spot the colorado sunburst anemone 
All right, folks, that's going to do it for this video. If you want to dive into the subject of invertebrates a little bit deeper, check this video out. I'll see you over there.